You ever had one of those days where you really want to go shoot, test some ammo you've done, get the speeds or the chronograph, but you got one of these days here where it's just pouring down rain, so unless you got covered areas for the chronograph to go, you can't really do it. Well, we got a fix for that. Let's take a look. So, we don't always get lucky. Um, sometimes it's raining outside, and I'm sure most of you know that to use chronographs like this, uh, there's several different uh, models of these out there. You gotta set these things out, uh, you know, 10, 12 feet in front of your, uh, in front of the muzzle of your, of your rifle, and shoot across the top here. Now, these have optical eyes, and that's how it, it as the bullet passes, it casts a shadow on here and that's how it picks up that speed and calculates it. Well, if it's raining out and you start getting this full of water, raindrops on there and stuff, you can't, you can't use them. Uh, not to mention, you know, the electronics down here inside, so. But, <clears throat> there's a fix for this. Magneto speed. Mounts right to the end of your barrel and has a nice little cord, plugs into this little display box here, and this is kind of a uh, push and scroll type deal. You can just walk your way through this. We'll go over that here in a second. Uh, also, a really cool add-on to that. Now, this one here is the Sporter model. They also have one, I believe it's called the V3. Uh, <clears throat> really, the only, the biggest difference on the V3 is, the, is it has a little bit uh, easier, a little bit larger uh, uh, box here with a couple different buttons on it. It makes scrolling a little bit easier, but I'm cheap, so I bought this. And it works great. Um, they also have this adapter here. It's just a little short guy. And what this does is you can take this and plug it into an iPad or your iPhone or whatever, um, download the app, and plug that right into here. And you can sync all the data that's in here right into the, right into the, uh, uh, into the app and it's 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 quite user-friendly I, I, I like it so let's uh, let's get a close-up here on some of the stuff that this uh, magneto speed comes with and we'll show you how to get it set up on a rifle and walk you through the app and um, I think we'll probably do kind of a two-part to this we'll get out to the range and we'll also show uh, just how good this thing actually works and uh, I think you'll I think you'll enjoy it so let's take a closer look okay so, when you're looking at uh, what this comes with, you've got a couple of things here. Number one, a very nice little laminated uh, instruction sheet, and also one thing I like about this is uh, if you do come up with an error code, it tells you, you know, what what some of these problems could be, um, and most of them are, are actually just. Uh, distance from the bayonet to the flight path of the bullet but uh, you know you can get them off angle things like that anyways very nice laminated so you know if you spill your coffee on it or whatever uh, you're not gonna hurt this and <clears throat> nice little box just contains it all I usually throw this in my shooting pack along with the uh, instructions here take it with me and then you've got the actual magneto speed bayonet itself and what this does is, and you've got a couple different adapters it comes with too, and this is just to help get the correct spacing um, from the barrel uh, to the to the bayonet here uh, for the bullet flight. So you can these just uh, slip right in here, and they've got kind of some little uh, uh, little studs here on the back that that slip down into into an area here. So they lock in nice and tight. They don't move around at all. So this goes on the barrel and little strap you can just cinch that up and then on the bottom here it allows you to tighten that strap up so it's uh, it stays in your barrel pretty nice the I will say there is a flaw in in this design here and that is with the taper of the barrel 
um, this thing after a, a few shots will or, or not necessarily will but it can come loose so you know every couple shots you just want to reach up and just give this thing a, a quick snug make sure it's not going anywhere last thing you want to do is you know have this thing start throwing error codes or or worst case you know let's strike it with a bullet or something weird so um, and all this does here is it's got a little plug in it's, you know this is on your barrel and and you've got your uh, You've got your your little uh, box here with all your data display, and this just runs on a 9-volt battery. Just push the little red button on there on the side, both sides, little 9-volt battery right there, clips back together, no problem. This thing will stay turned off. There's no on button. How you turn it on is simply by plugging it in. Once you plug it in, it's going to go through... Uh, Oh, a couple things your battery life this is down to eight volts uh, it's it's reading the sensor unit it's it's just kind of going through through its little check check and balances here so um, I already have five shots on here so it's telling me now that it's ready for the sixth shot and there's no speed associated with that so I'm gonna unplug this now <clears throat> this uh, setup does not come with this little interface cable here and what this does is it allows you to plug this in to to an iPad or an iPhone or or I I assume these run on Android as well I don't have I'm not an Android guy so I can't say for sure but I believe it does and you download the app so <clears throat> let me uh, let me pull this up here real quick So, first thing it does is it, it, it asks you if you want to go uh, to the instructions. I particularly don't in this case here. And we're going to plug this in. It says on their phone, so it's, uh, it's, it's recognizing it. Now, right up here is the sync button. And there you have it. So there is all the ballistic data. There's there's my actually I guess I was wrong. There's six shots on there. Um, <clears throat> so there's my six shots, and over here you've got uh, six shots, the max, the min, the extreme spread, the average, and the standard deviation. And uh, now you can you can save this. You can you know you. You can enter in a name here. You can you can do all kinds of stuff with this. It's pretty cool. I, I really do like it. So, um, very very slick. So it's it's uh, it's it's quite simple to function. Also, let's go through uh, kind of the scrolling thing here. So we'll just plug this into the bayonet real quick, and we'll take a look at how you scroll through this thing. So we'll let it go through its checks real quick, and there we have it. Now, <clears throat> select data. There's the high, and there's the low, and this little button right, right here is, is just uh, what you scroll through it with. There's the standard deviation, the extreme spread. This was not a very good uh, load that I developed here. Um, and if you hold this down, you can go to your number six shot, number five shot, four. Now, let's say I want to delete number four. I can hold this and hold, delete, hold, delete, and it will delete that. Now, I don't want to delete this right now. Uh, I want to save this, but if you continue to hold that on this number four shot, it will delete it. Now I can drop down to number three. So the beauty of this is if you get an error, um, you can delete out errors, or if you know you know something happened and you got a you know the wrong speed or whatever, you can just hold this down and I'm going to abort that, but you can delete whatever you want. So um, pretty slick. Now the 
the v3 version has you know other buttons off to the side here and stuff that you can you know it, it's a little bit easier than the than the than the scroll and hold um, but you know it's it's whatever it's no big deal i don't use this function very often uh, that's why i bought this little interface and i've got that app both on my phone and my ipad and it uh, it works just as easy there so let's uh let's set this up on a rifle and show you how to get this uh, set up properly okay <clears throat> so i've got an ar10 here and it does have uh, a flash suppressor sort of half muzzle brake whatever this is not my rifle it's a friend of mine so but i'm going to use it <clears throat> so what i'm going to do is i'll take one of these uh little pucks here slide it in there slide this on now you'll notice here this just clips right down here so oops and then you can just pull that up pull it up about as tight as you can get it and then you'll want to just uh, now <clears throat> notice here where I have this thing uh, positioned um, I want it out toward the end I want to make sure that this any of this muzzle blast is going to come down in this recess area here and just give this a snug up nice and tight it's not going anywhere one thing you can do you can take a cleaning rod or a dowel or something that's not gonna not gonna mess with the uh, with the barrel at all and just put this in here and, and, and make sure that uh, you're at the recommended distance roughly away from this bayonet and that also tells you that you're not going to strike it with the bullet now if you are too close or too far away these are different thicknesses so you can swap these out play around with them and that's pretty much how this works it's very simple so that's kind of it really it's a uh, it's a pretty simple unit it's uh, it's got a lot of advantages to it you know you don't have to carry around your the, the other style chronograph with you know tripods and you know 25 foot cable to run it back and plug it into an iPad or something and uh, I, I don't mind it but it's only good if it's a nice day and you're gonna be out the range shooting um, this magneto speed is so universal I can take it up in the woods with me, lay down, you know, to shoot shoot across a canyon or something. If I want to know what my bullet speed is up there, I can simply put it on there, take a shot or two, and I know pretty much right where I'm at. So um, stay tuned for part two. We're going to get this out to the range and test it. And I'm going to test it against the, uh, right now I have a Caldwell chronograph. It, it works well. Um, I'm, I'm not unhappy with it at all. It's, it's actually quite nice but this is a little bit more user friendly um unfortunately uh we've had some just some crap weather i'm gonna have to wait for a nice day so to because i want to compare the compare the two now i've already done this and i can pretty much tell you already it's going to be uh you know there, there's going to be just a little bit of variation because one i have to set up in front of my you know in front of my muzzle uh, 10 12 feet and this one here is on you know right at the end of my muzzle so you're obviously going to have a little bit of variation but the, the beauty of the magneto speed is it's actually getting the true muzzle velocity. It's not calculating backwards and, and trying to figure out some sort of formula that says, well, at 12 feet out, if the bullet's passing the chronograph at uh, you know 3,000 feet per second, then it's going to presume or assume that the muzzle velocity might be 3010 or 3020 or something like that, So which may not necessarily be the case. Um, so it's really nice to know the exact muzzle velocity of this. Uh, pretty cool. So stay tuned, and I'm going to put some links uh, down below where you can buy these. Um, I, I, I got mine from Amazon. Uh, they're all about the same price no matter where you go to buy them. So anyways, I'll leave a link in the description box below, and stay tuned. As soon as we get some sunshine out there, we'll go out and test this stuff. <laughs>